Well, good evening once again. It is Facebook Live time, uh, I think Thursday night, seven o'clock, and we've got a beer that well, I haven't done before. Now, I've picked up this beer. Now, the beer we've got for Facebook Live is Mayflower Gold Vintage. Now, when I saw it in the cupboard this morning, I thought, oh yes, Vintage Mayflower Gold, 2020 Vintage Mayflower Gold. We'll talk about that. We've still got that on sale in the shop. It's a fantastic beer. It's amazing beer. It's only when I got it out that I saw, ah, 2019 Vintage. So this is the 2019 Vintage, which I haven't done a Facebook Live on before. So it's something a little bit different, uh, but a lot of things I say for 2019 Vintage are just the same for 2020 vintage okay so now one of the things is if you are going to buy some of our 2020 vintage mayflower gold there's still got lots of bottles of it left um first thing is to store it in the fridge okay a little bit lively is so if you store it in the fridge it just takes the edge off of it so when you um open it it doesn't sort of um go too lively so let's see if we can um open this up Okay, nice little fizz there. Um, it's in a 2019 Great British Beer Festival glass. So that was, of course, the first beer, first GBBF where the Ricky Brewing beers appeared there. Of course, the first time that our beers had appeared there. So, as you can see, it's pouring there nicely. Okay, as I say, the 2020 vintage is a little bit lively, and this is sort of um, quite surprising for a beer of this age. That it's still not out of control. Um, well, I think it's sort of probably put in the fridge just about to take a little bit of the edge off of it, okay? But there you see, nice and reasonably clear, okay, after all that time, okay? And wonderful iron fist. This is my last bottle of 2019 vintage, so it's a bit of a special bottle. Um, I had one over Christmas, and um, this is my last one, sadly. So anyway, just a little bit of a story about a vintage Mayflower Gold. Those of you who know our beers very well will know that Mayflower Gold is the first beer that we ever brewed. It's an IPA, 6.5%. It's still one of my favourite beers. Uh, still quite an amazing beer. Um, and we still brew that today now. Still a reg one of our regular beers um, we brew all year round. Uh, we don't have the last few bottles of it, but we're brewing it again tomorrow. So Mayflower Gold uh, is going to be brewed again tomorrow. So that we'll, we'll have some more of that regularly um, coming out soon. But what we what I decided to do a few years ago, soon after the first start, was actually once a year, let's do a special beer. And I was inspired a little bit by um, Duval, a famous Belgian beer that does a triple hop beer every year. They do a different hop every year. And we decided... Uh, to do a different hop every year and make it that little bit stronger. So say normal Mayflower Gold 6.5% and vintage Mayflower Gold is 7.5%. So quite strong there, bit of a half warning to it. So um, sip it nicely even though it does drink very easily for a 7.5% beer. So, um, so each year we've made it 7.5% with a different hop and we often find that the bottles do keep for well beyond a year and still taste lovely, sometimes getting even better after that time. Now, 2019 um, was brewed with Jester Hops, which is a new um, British version, British hop, okay, um, which is similar in style to the very popular and funky um, American hop styles. And then 2020 um, is Willamette Hops, which again is um, a, an American hop, uh, which meant to have a nice peachy aroma. Okay. But 2019, it still tastes an absolutely wonderful. Um, so, a few other things just to pick up with uh, up there, 2019 vintage, you'll notice each bottle is got a label, a number on there, so 398 out of 500 bottles, so only 500 bottles done. And there, I see um, the initials of our brewer, Rick, there. Okay, so each bottle is personally initialed by Rick and with the uh, number of the bottle on there. So you know there's only 500 bottles of it made. Each one has got a unique number on it. Okay, so as I say, we've got plenty of that um, available in the shop. If you want to um, order that, just drop us an email, sales at billerickybrewing.co.uk or phone, give us a bell 01277 500 121. 
and we can get that um, either delivered to you locally or we can get it ready for you to boo a click and collect on there. So we still get lots of lovely beer to you, even though the pubs are closed, we can bring the pub to you and we can bring some fantastic beer to you. Okay, so other beers we've got available in bottles, we've got um, our, all our classics, we've got Billericke Dicky, we've got Billericke Blonde, we've got Billericke Zeppelin, we've got Rhythm Stick, we've got Sex and Drugs and Rock and Roll. As I said, we've got the last three bottles of Mayflower Gold of this batch. We'll have some more of that in a few weeks, but if you do want that, get in very quickly before they all go. Um, we've got our Dark Beers, Chapel Street Porter, and then we've got the Chili version of that, Chili Porter, and we've got the coffee version of it, Barista. So still lots of bottles there for you, and we'll have lots of new beers appearing throughout February as well. Okay, so if you want any of those, just say, remember, drop us an email or give us a bell. Um, and if you prefer your draft beer, I mean, it's exactly the same beer in the bottles as it is in the draft. Um, if you like your draft beer at home, remember we are doing our bagging boxes, 5, 9, 18, maybe even 35 pints of your beer in a polypin or a bagging box, um, so you can have draft beer at home. Now, the, the beers I've mentioned, we've got all of those, plus one or two others as well. Uh, and we've also started um, doing some guest beers in those bagging boxes as well. And they sell out very quickly. We've actually sold out of this week's um, rotation of those, but we'll have another um, guest beer or two next week. So keep your eye out open for those and what they are. And those have been really popular. Um, we tend to have guest, guest cake beers we're doing and really sort of some, some really lovely, funky, hoppy beers that we get in from other breweries. Okay, but hopefully we're still carrying on drinking our beer as well. It's just something a bit variety as well. Um, just to say a few things going on, just to keep you in the loop. So um, uh, tomorrow night, if you do join our virtual pub night, if you want to listen to the pub and want to have a chat with some of the regulars, do join us on Zoom around about six o'clock. Um, watch out for the Zoom link if you want. If you do want to join us and you are not seeing the link, please do message us, email us, and we'll make sure you get that Zoom link and you can come and have a chat with us. Saturday night, of course, is our takeaway pizza night. So we've got our wonderful Azure wood-fired pizzas cooked on the forecourt uh, and then for you to take away. If you want one of those, you have to order it by tomorrow evening. So get your orders in by tomorrow evening if you want that. And good, if you can do, it'd be great to order some beers to go with it as well, the perfect accompaniment. The shop will be open then as well, so you can order both pizzas and beer for a wonderful takeaway. So look on our Facebook page for details of the, um, the menu. It's as your wood fire pizza. Um, you can look at those up as well, as well. So you can look at their website, their Facebook page as well. It's got the menu on there. It's really is fantastic. But remember, you do have to order that in advance. So make sure you order in advance by tomorrow evening for pick it up. Uh, Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening. Um, something outside the brewery I'll be doing them is uh, on Sunday. Um, any of you uh, nature lovers out there, just be a plug to this. It's the RSPB Great Garden Bird Watch. Um, a lot of us got into um, nature during the lockdowns, um, and I love doing a bit of bird watch. I've got all the bird feeders up in the garden, and on Saturday, on Sunday, I'll probably be doing the bird watch, spend an hour just sitting there. They say sit there with your cup of tea, but I think it'd be better with a beer. Sit there with your beer, just looking out the garden and making a record of all the different birds that you see in your garden. What a lovely relaxing way to spend a Sunday afternoon of beer and birds, eh? Mention. Okay, um, and then next week, um, another thing that's happened on Thursday night, we've got the return of our virtual quiz night. So obviously one of our most popular evenings, first, the first Thursday of the month in the Micropub, we have a quiz night. Obviously we can't do that at the moment, but we're carrying it on virtually. There's no prize, it's just a bit of fun. So if you do are interested in that, then do email Seb um, or just email the main um, uh, sales at billerickybrewing.co.uk and if you can get, ideally if you can get a, you, you, and, um, you and your family and team uh, and it's just a bit of fun and we do the questions by Zoom and um, great bit of fun of getting people together and, have a, and getting to know each other a little bit more, yeah. Okay, so... Because that's on Thursday next week, Facebook Live next week will be on the Wednesday night. I will post that beforehand to remind you. So Facebook Live next week is on the Wednesday night and we'll have yet another beer 
for um, to, for us as class then. So I say that's Mayflower Gold Vintage 2019, not 2020. So 2019 vintage, uh, but it's a 2020 vintage. We've got lots of in our shop. Just remind it, if you do get the 2020 vintage, keep it in the fridge, keeps it a little bit under control so it's not too lively when you open up those bottles and you'll manage to enjoy it. So, all I can say is, everyone, it's almost end of uh, January now. Those of you who do enjoy January, well done to you. You're almost there. Um, and hopefully those of you we have been missing in the, mic in the um, reorders, we'll see you back again next week. We've got plenty of beer ready to get to you. So we say to all of you, keep healthy, keep safe, enjoy your beers, and we'll say cheers.